And now let's take a look at one of the latest health trends to hit China. For those of us living in the Northern Hemisphere, summer is finally upon us. And for many people, that means hitting the beach and enjoying the warmer weather. And with that comes the desire for the perfect beach body. Increasingly, both here in China and around the world, that means joining the juice cleans or juice detox craze. CCTV's Ryan Bridge went to see what the fuss is about and asked, can there be too much of a good thing? Fresh fruit and vegetables. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But a growing number of health-conscious Chinese are taking it one step further, juicing their favourite fruit and veggies, blending in some so-called superfoods and doing a juice cleanse. I'm very busy and I tend to eat out often, so it's a healthy choice to do the cleanse. I always feel great afterwards. A young Beijing resident working for an investment bank, Xiao Jing, says she's tried juice cleanses so many times she's lost count and first heard about the concept through one of the many specialty juice cleanse stores opening up across the city and the country. Three years ago, this company opened in Shanghai with one competitor. Last year, they opened in Beijing with four or five. More and more people are interested in juicing, so now people start getting familiar with us with the concept and also of course with other juice companies but we're quite happy because now we show up somewhere oh yes we know we heard about you we heard about juicing the juice cleanse industry has grown quickly from humble beginnings and is tipped to be worth 11 billion dollars globally this year producing 65 billion liters and china holds over 50 percent of global value growth and is tipped to overtake the U.S. in terms of market value by year-end. A typical day of juice cleansing looks like this. Breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea and dinner. You can drink as much water as you like, but you can't eat any food. The calorie intake for women is around 1,100 calories per day, and for men it's around 1,500. Some do it to lose weight, others to kickstart a change in eating habits, and others to rid their body of toxins. But can there be too much of a good thing? Most juice cleansers last just one to five days. But we've heard stories of people going seven, ten or even twelve days at a time. Some of my friends tried it for seven days, but they became so hungry they had to stop and eat some real food. I would only do it for three days at a time. <laughs> Medical experts say as part of a balanced diet, drinking fresh fruit and vegetable juice can be beneficial, but there are a few things you should know before trying a detox. Like any cleanse, the purpose is to rid your body of toxins, right? But our bodies actually already have systems in place to do those things, um, such as the liver and the kidneys, our lungs, etc. cetera. Um, and there's actually no proof that juice cleanses help those organs to function any better. Brianna Monaghan says any weight lost during a cleanse will usually be put straight back on afterwards, though they can be beneficial oh, yeah. for people wanting to kickstart new eating habits. You're not getting any fiber or protein usually in a juice cleanse so for a couple days it might be fine but if it's more than five days you can develop nutritional deficiencies. You can just have one juice and drink the juice in addition to what you eat. It's not really that you have to not eat. So that's also what we want now um, that people just integrate it in their lives. So it seems juicing is fine so long as it's part of a balanced diet with enough whole foods to make sure you're getting all the protein and fibre your body needs. But if you're going to try a detox, follow the doctor's orders and keep it to less than five days at a time. Ryan Bridge, CCTV News, Beijing.